Hey guys, how are you doing? We're here at the Pro Wing Fair with uh, Jean-Marc from JMB Jets, with Jonathan Besson from France, and we have Brandon. Just, you know, have a look at the tent. There's so many people here, it's absolutely incredible. Just huge amounts of people. And we have uh, Brandon from AR in Australia, and he's here to explain to us about his uh, exciting new products, and specifically the uh, Smooth Flight RRS system. Okay, so, Tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, okay, so we have dual battery input and dual receivers. Yeah. So ultimate redundancy on the system. Okay. If you come into the screen here, you can see we've got uh, the, the voltage on both batteries. Yeah. Regulator voltage. Yeah. We monitor milliamps since you've last charged, which is the white. The blue is milliamps you've used on that flight, a flight timer and flight counter. Okay. So it's also a touch screen. If I touch down there, yeah. you have heads up display, but we have three different options. That's awesome. So come in here. We have a regulator on board, either 6 or 7.4 volts. Yeah. Okay. Monitor. We get live data back from the radio. So I'm moving the sticks there. Okay. And you can see the bars yeah, moving. Yeah, all graphical display. Yeah. But where the power comes in is this screen. So this is uh, the in-out routing for servos. We take channel 1 from your radio yeah. and route it to any of these outputs. So right now you have two ailerons. Yeah. So servo 1, servo 2. But yeah. if we need four, we just click the rest buttons. Yeah. Okay? If they're blue, they can be assigned. That's awesome. There we go. Yeah, so very way, simple. Yeah, so green means assigned, yeah. blue is available, and gray so is assigned to... Uh, now numbers. you have six ailerons in two seconds. Yeah, exactly. But if I try and click the gray one, it won't work. Because, because you're using them for other channels. Yeah, exactly. If I go next, these will turn gray now. Okay. Okay? Yeah. So we'll come out of here. Save. We'll go yeah. into the monitor page. Servo 2. We have two servos here. Yeah. If I move, they all move so together. So you're seeing all the outputs at live. Yeah, yeah, okay. exactly. So this is input from radio. This is output to servos. Yeah. If we go in here, we have servo reverse. We have uh, sub trim and endpoint. Yeah. And we also have 15 point match as well. Oh, yeah, okay. okay. This is if you want ultra precision matching. Yeah, for all 26 outputs. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Come out of here. Receiver. We monitor uh, receiver frames yeah. on the bus. Frames coming in are good. Drops are uh, garbage coming from the receiver, and fail safe is uh, obviously fail safe events. Yeah. So if you're noticing high values here and here, yeah. you may need to check your receivers. So again, okay. a bit of redundancy in the bus. And this value is saved, right? This is the reason yeah. why they're, um, they're so big, the numbers. Yes. Yeah. So every time this bus gets turned off, these values get saved. So you can actually do like 10 flights and then go ahead and look at your system and see what, what's happened one. during these 10 flights. That's the one. That's if awesome. If you want to reset it back to zero, you hit the reset button, yeah. and that'll reset the value. Awesome. Okay? Yep. So come out of here, we go system, receiver protocol. These are all the uh, protocols that we're uh, supporting at the moment. So you have Futaba, JR, Jetty, Spectrum and Graupner. Yeah, but there will be more. We're working on FR Sky, Multiplex and a couple of others. Yeah, well. FR Sky is coming. Yeah. That's awesome. So come out of here. Yep. We also have three different sequences. We have a nine channel gear sequence, yep. a four channel canopy sequence and a four channel auxiliary sequence. Okay. <laughs> okay. Each of those can be freely assigned on the bus, and they can have different times as well. So once one opens slowly, the next one quick, yep. um, all the way through 10 steps. Basically all fully programmable, you can do whatever you want with them. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So come out of here. Now we're going to gyro setup. So we call our gyro smooth flight. Yep. It's not a gyro, because all it does is smooths out the flight. It makes yep. it nice and easy to fly. We go smooth flight. We'll do a quick setup. Okay. We go so this wizard. is just a demonstration of a full gyro setup, basically. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We go wizard. We go yes. What Let's say we're, we're flying? flying a jet. We're flying a jet, so we'll select turbine. Turbine, and it. Okay. What yeah. we do is we take this into consideration on vibration. So for a gas plane, lots of vibration, we dampen the servos just a little bit so they're not bouncing around. Okay. Turbine, self plane, electric, no need. Okay. Okay. We we'll go next. How heavy is the model? Uh, Twelve kilos. Twelve kilos. Good weight. Okay. So we use uh, that for inertia calculation. Light model, heavy model, they yep. fly different. Light model, you want quick response. Heavy model, you want a nice smooth response. Okay. okay. Makes it nice and scale. Yeah. We go next. Next again. We assign a three-stage switch to the radio. And just move the switch here. Move and the switch and yeah. it finds it automatically. Okay. Yeah, okay. I see it. Channel 8. So, yeah, next. Okay. This, uh, we're seeing the gyro endpoints. So we're setting the gyro endpoints now. Just so, moving all the controls all the way to the end. Yep. Mix the sticks. Capture. Next. Yep. You want gyro on aileron, elevator, yeah, and all rudder. Three. All yeah, three. All sure. three. Done. Which way have you mounted the bus? Upright or inverted? Let's say upright. Upright. Looks better that way. Yeah. Go next. There you go. Your smooth flight setup is done. Yeah. It's that simple. Gyro setup complete. Yep. Go fly. Yeah. <laughs> took about a minute.
what's, uh, what's special about our system is we uh, have high and low gain, but we also have uh, auto gain control, yep. which means if yep. you have uh, plane oscillation in the sky, yep. the game will dial back until the oscillation stops, and then uh, once you slow the plane down, the game will come back up again. So it doesn't constantly oscillate if your gain is too high? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. So you'll see a small oscillation, then stop, and yeah. then maybe a little bit more. Yeah. And when you slow the plane down, it will dial back up. So yeah, very good. three axes, aileron, elevator, and rudder. Okay. okay. And that's, uh, that's our system. How about those switches? I see you got all kinds here. Yeah, yeah. So with this, uh, with this uh, system, you can have up to three different switches. Yeah. We have a lovely pin flag switch here, which is a nice mechanical actuator. Okay. okay. We have a, uh, a mag switch design, so yeah. a magnet on the inside. You hold it there for one second. Turns so you don't on. have to make any holes in the fuselage? No, it, okay. um, that's what I prefer. Yeah. And uh, we also have the remote switch. So this is a uh, fail safe design. So yeah. if we hit C and D, the system will turn off. Yeah. A and B, system will turn on. That's awesome. Has to be a uh, five meter range maximum. Yeah. And uh, has to be within one second. So if I push random buttons here, nothing will happen. We'll never switch off. Yeah. You know. And if I do that, you can't touch the buttons. Yeah. Okay. So that's very the good. System. Okay. So thank you for the explanation. Thank you very much. I'll put it online and hopefully uh, I think people will like it. Sounds good. Thank you. Cheers.